And welcome back, everybody, to our late edition. Even though their basketball team is still alive in the NCAA tournament, well, the Tennessee football team stole some of the headlines last week when they kicked off their spring practice season. Our Mike Rogers is here with more. Mike? Yeah, that's right, Hope. Uh, they actually started football practice last Thursday and will go right up until April 17th. That is the day of the Orange and White Spring game. First year head coach Derek Dooley has a lot on his plate this spring. So what is the biggest challenge for Dooley and his coaching staff? How about getting the guys on the gridiron through yet another transition? I can't sit here and say that the transitions have had no effect on the program. I mean, certainly they have. Uh, it's had an effect on recruiting. It's had an effect on attrition. So for now, the volunteers need to make some more adjustments once again. The first step in this process is spring practice. 15 days and some time on the playing field for everyone to learn the ropes. It was good for the guys to get out here and just get their legs loose and finally play football again. It, I was telling Nick Revez it feels like I haven't played football in forever. So it was, it was good to get out here and get what they call the scabs off of, you know, just learn football again and get out here and play football. With the new coaches and stuff, everybody had a lot of enthusiasm. Everybody, it was a kind of quick pace, a change from last year, which uh, it, was, it took a little bit longer and it was more strenuous. But uh, this year is a uh, quick pace and uh, everything went smooth. It's going to be a great uh, chance for our team to learn uh, and digest and become experts at all of our systems on offense, defense, and special teams. Uh, so that's a big goal. And our coaches. But as far as the head coach goes, his toughest decision might come at the quarterback position. At this point, it sounds like a wide open competition. The way we structure practice, we're going to try to give them plenty of opportunity and plenty of reps. I can tell you this, guys, that the quarterback position will not be settled by the end of spring. I mean, this is a, a body of work over time. So far, you know, I'm fitting in great. You know, I just, uh, you know, I love it here. You know, uh, my dad's from Louisville originally, so I kind of have like a little Southern in me. So, uh, you know, I love being in this atmosphere, this school, you know, and uh, this tradition. It's, it's unbelievable. And in just a limited amount of time, we have already seen how this first year head coach will handle the pressure from the media as he addressed the controversy over alumni who would like to visit practice. Well, how confusing is this? I want to come to practice. Okay. Bleh. I mean, that's what, when you go to somebody's house, what do you do? You don't just walk in. You go, hey, Jimmy, I'm going to come over today. Boom. Right? I mean, what's so hard about that? And as you can tell, it didn't take long to find out that Coach Dooley will be a straight shooter with the media. You know, I found it interesting that Dooley held a 30-minute town hall style meeting with the local media members to go over his policies and procedures. He is very aware of the magnitude of his position and the high expectations that come with it. Now, as far as the quarterback battle goes, we saw transfer Matt Sims in that piece. He is expected to compete against senior Nick Stevens and freshman Tyler Bray for the starting job. So we shall uh, see mm. who gets that starting nod for the volunteers this year. And he hit a little rough spot with the media this week, but it looks to me like he's the guy that can take charge and just move on. I think he has a good personality for, for, for this area, for yeah. Tennessee, a straight shooter, hard-hitting guy, and he's not going to hold back. I think no. we like that here. A lot more of Derek Dooley to come. Thanks, yep. Mike. Many of the draft experts have a couple of formal vols.